going to call to order uh, today's special council meeting of the City Council of Jackson, Mississippi. Colleagues, we have two items, claims, and then we have a discussion uh, that we're going to have to go into uh, council only executive session about uh, dealing with personnel matter. Um, let's let's start with uh, any any openings or announcements. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize no, for no being problem. disruptive. That was Councilman Foot, and he's trying to get on, oh, okay. but he can't. And Miss um, Jordan, he's asking if you could please send him the link. Thank you. Okay. I apologize, Mr. President. That's fine. And, and if, if not, maybe he could just call one of us, and that, that should suffice for the Open Meetings Act. Uh, announcement, Vice President Lee. Uh, yes, I'd like to open the meeting in memory of Sam Bradford, a freedom rider from Tougaloo, who just recently passed, and I'd like to keep his memory and his family in our prayers. Thank you so much. Any other announcements? I have one, uh, Mr. President. I'd like to open this meeting in memory of attorney uh, Monique Montgomery, who passed over the weekend. Yes, yeah, that deeply felt loss. Um, and very smart um, and wisely ambitious attorney. Uh, she will be missed. Um, any other announcements? All right. Um, Councilman Foote, if you could mute, mute until. Uh, I got. Can you hear me? Yeah, you have an announcement. Go ahead, sir. I'll just, just, just tell you, I, got, I was able to get on for a while there. I, I didn't have the uh, number, but I finally got it. Mr. Hartley got it to me. And so. I'm on the meeting now. All right. Thank you so much, and we appreciate you for being here. Is that Seattle? Uh-oh. I'm out here to park. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, with that being said, uh, Mr. President. Yes. Who is that? Councilman Hartley. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, just two things. Uh, I'd like to pass along the condolences from Ward 5 for uh, uh, Miss Monique as well, uh, her husband's church, and uh, she uh, uh, was first lady in my ward and a very fine lady, a very uh, good family and a surprise, and, uh, and everybody was saddened to hear it. Uh, also, I'd like to make another announcement that is Ward 5 and Ward 3, uh, because we border uh, around the Capitol Street area, we will be holding a joint homeless, uh, a meeting on homelessness uh, in our community. Uh, that meeting is going to be at St. Luther's on Thursday night at 6 p.m. Uh, that's at St. Luther's Church on the Metro Parkway. Uh, and um, it's posted on my website and, and other places. So uh, I'd like for everyone to attend if possible. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Hartley. All right, any other uh, opening remarks? All right, um, Clerk, if we get item one on the floor. Order approving claims appearing at pages 058 to inclusive thereon on municipal docket of claims in the amount of $2,887,173.93 for and make an appropriation for the payment thereof. So moved, second. second. It's been moving properly second. Uh, Mr. Lee. I ask that council consider amending the claims to add an invoice from Veolia Water North America, invoice number 9000120849 for an amount of $1,191,193.49 for September 2023 services for our sewer plants and pump stations. All right, who's asking this? I am. Say so your name for the record. Robert, I'm sorry. Yeah. Robert Lee, Public Works. So moved. Second. It's been moving properly second that we make the amendment as stated by Robert Lee. Uh, any questions or comments on the amendment? I, I've got a question, Mr. President. Yes, sir. The, uh, the, the time period for the Viola contract, does that overlap with the time period that um, the third party manager has been um, responsible for the sewer uh, uh, system? And if so, how much? Mr. Foote, there's no overlap. This is the September invoice. Uh, the October invoices will be paid by the interim third party manager going forward. This will be it as far as Veolia payments. Okay, thank you. 
All right, any other questions on the amendment? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. What say you? Uh, Aye. I, I got you, Councilman Foote. What say you, Councilman Grizel? Aye. What say you, Councilman Hartley? All right. All right. Uh, the amendment is now uh, added to claims with a vote of 6 0. Let the record reflect that we do have a quorum of six, three are on the DS, and three are joining us virtually. All right, Ms. Malambeka. Good afternoon, Fidelis Malambeka. I present to you the four largest uh, claims uh, outside of uh, the amended amount. Uh, the first is Hempio construction in the amount of $2,428,775.95 paid out of fund 157, 1% infrastructure tax. This is for the Riverside Drive improvements. Uh, the second is IMEX Technology Incorporated in the amount of $113,911.35. Paid out of fund four, technology fund. This is uh, for the Kronos, the Kronos soft, software maintenance. The third is Amerimac Chemical Corporation in the amount of $71,865.85. Paid out of fund one, general fund. Uh, this is for the limestone term, term bid. And the fourth is Central Mississippi Planning and Development District in the amount of $57,536 paid out of fund one, general fund. This is for the FY24 district assessments. And that completes the report for the four largest claims. All right, thank you. Uh, colleagues, are there any questions on uh, these claims before we take up a vote? I've got a question, Mr. Uh, President. That would be the, um, I don't have the documents in front of me. I got them emailed a little earlier ago, but not in time to, to uh, go through and read them on my phone. But um, the, the source of funding for each one of these, some of this is out of the one cent sales tax money, I believe, for the Hemp Hill construction. Could you just could, for those major claims, could you list the, um, tell us the sources for each one of those claims? Yes, I, I said I fund 157. Uh, this is uh, the Riverside project is uh, funded out of the bond fund uh, uh, under 1%, uh, uh, the 1% tax. Okay. Yes. Are the, and the rest of them are not coming out of the one cent sales tax. So, so the, Mr. Mellenbeck, his question is if you could list the source, I guess he wants you to say verbatim what the source is for each item. Or the, so like, the like, like infrastructure will be 1% sales tax. You, uh, keep in mind, council members just don't know numbers off the top of their head, so you would have to say, you know, such and such, tech, you know, you have to go down the line for each one. Okay, yeah. So is, is that what you're asking for, Councilman Foote? You, you're still muted. You're still yeah. muted. I'm sorry, were you addressing me, Councilman Hartley? No, I was addressing Councilman Foote. I, I think he's on okay. mute. Go ahead. Yeah, you, had, you, you, you explained it correctly, Councilman Banks. If, if there, it was just, I don't know all the numbers of the different funds off the top of my head. So I, the, that was um, sort of the important one was that the, the um, one you mentioned, which was for coming out of the one cent sales tax, and the, to the extent that the others, you know, um, uh, I just you know want to keep track of where all the money's coming from to pay these these uh, major major payments. Yes, in fact, as we read out these, um, we we do indicate that where we say fund, for instance, one fifty seven, it's dash one percent infrastructure tax. Um, you know, the second one was fund four technology fund, um, and then fund one is your general fund. Um, right, the, the last suit's a, a general fund. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure. All right, are there any other questions or comments on claims? 
All right, Mr. Melvin, just one question. Um, as far as all of our passing frames for uh, uh, this fiscal year, or the, the previous fiscal year, are they all, uh, have they all been accounted for now? And are you asking, are they accounted for on this uh, claims yes. docket or? Yes. No. Okay. So there's still some more that will come before. There are some from my FY23 that will come forward. All right. Yes. Are there any, are there any uh, invoices in our contracts or payments that are past due? Because uh, I notice in what, what we receive, uh, some of the requests and some of the notices of past due invoices um, that we received were not reflected. So are there more past due invoices that are a year old or over a year old that have not come before us? Uh, so, so in fact, what I shared last week is uh, we're capturing uh, some of the outstanding invoices. So the report that you end up getting will actually actually reflect that. Um, and that's a list I mentioned was uh, coming from the department directors uh, and, and we, we had a follow-up meeting this morning. Um, we, we had directors to turn those in. We'll, we'll get those compiled and share that with you. All right. And I'm not just talking about the ones that you agree with. I'm talking about even the ones that you dispute. So yes. let, let, me, let me just make sure, example, if mm. Wagner has something you feel like that maybe is disputed, we would still like to see that. Right. Correct. Uh, in fact, the, the one you had uh, had some water bills that have been disputed, right? So... All right. Uh, and when can you head that to us? Um, so I think we have a couple more to look through. Um, let's say Wednesday, I think by Wednesday. Okay. All right. Any other questions, colleagues? All right. All in favor of claims? Uh, aye. All opposed? Nay. All right. Claims passes 4-2. Thank you so much. Colleagues, next we have a discussion item uh, dealing with personnel matter. I will ask for the beginning that legal only um, stay for the beginning. Yes, and so I need a motion to go into closed session. I'm sorry. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to go into closed session to discuss personnel matters. It's been moving properly second that we go into a uh, closed session to discuss uh, personnel matters. Um, all in favor? Aye. All right. All right. So, Hartley, what's your vote on that? I, I got a, I, a yay from Foot and a yay from Councilman Grizel. I did not get you, Hartley. Aye. All right. Uh, that's six zero vote. We are nine closed session. Uh, uh, if if you guys will get off this, we will find a way to uh, go ahead and start contacting you all. I'll be pulling up in about four minutes. All right. Good deal. All right. All right. Uh, we are now the council. City Council of Jackson is now out of uh, executive session. Uh, we did go into executive session to discuss personnel matters. No action was take, taken. Uh, is there anything else to come before this body or any announcements? All right, meeting adjourned.